This is for you if you have a WordPress website. For example, for your personal brand and you want more people to sign up, join your newsletter or download your lead magnet. The easiest way to get more clicks, in other words, increase your conversion rate, is by A-B testing. Test version A against version B and see which one converts better. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install AB split test plugin on WordPress. Set up your first test and explain you how it works. This plugin shows 50-50 your A and B versions to people arriving on your page. And after the test is complete, it will choose a winner based on the number of conversions and show that version to 100% of the traffic until you create another test. Next, I'll show you how this works in practice. Let's dive right in. To download the plugin, you can click on the link in the description. It's an affiliate link. That means if you buy the paid version, I may earn a small commission to support this channel. Much appreciated. So now we arrive to AB Split Test homepage. Scroll all the way down and click on Get AB Split Test Free. Click again, Get AB Split Test Free, and you should arrive to this checkout page. Type in your info and click Free Download. On the thank you page, click on the zip file to download the plugin. Now we can log on to WordPress to install the plugin. Select add a new plugin, then upload plugin, then choose file and browse in the downloads folder to find the zip file and click on the install now button. Let's close these extra windows and now finally click activate plugin. Now the plugin is installed and I'll click on the create a test button. Here is a small tutorial I can click I know what to test, then about the title, test type, and we can close this pop-up from the X. Okay, next I'll show you how to create an A-B test to compare two different headlines on my homepage. And we start by giving this test a name, first test. Now here you see three options, on-page elements, full-page tests, and test CSS. On-page elements means comparing one or more elements on a page, for example, the image, headline, subheading, and so on. Full page tests mean that you create a complete second version of a page and show these two different pages to visitors. And the test CSS is an option to customize the styling, for example, button color, text color, border radius, and see if it has an effect on the conversions. As we're going to change only the headline, we select on page elements. Next, let's scroll down and select our conversion trigger. So if we are running a test, this is the bucket the visitors need to hit to make a goal, so to speak. In my example landing page, I want people to join my email list. That means every time someone clicks on the subscribe button, it's a conversion. In another video, I will explain all the conversions, but in this one, we are going to use an URL because when people click subscribe, and the form redirects them to a thank you page. This way I know for sure that the form was successfully sent. And I only need to add here the URL. If you don't know what that is, browse to your pages, click under quick edit and see what the so-called slug is. That's what you type here. And obviously your button link has to point to this page for it to work. If at any point you have questions, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. Moving on, the next section is the visitor segmentation. The default option is fine. This section means that only people who are not logged in, like you or anyone else editing your website, are not counted as conversions. This way the test stays clean in the sense that only visitors will trigger the conversion. If you want, you can set the device size to count only in people who are using a computer or a phone to visit your site. Next, some links may include an UTM source query that defines the origin of your traffic. This one is, however, an advanced feature, and we can skip it for now. Traffic allocation means you can set the percentage, how many visitors are included in your test. The remaining percentage will see the default version and will not be counted as conversions. For example, if you have two new ideas you want to test and compare, you can set this to 50%, and then it points 25% of the traffic to version A and 25% to version B. But don't go over 100% or you will break the internet. Let's follow the internet protocol. Moving on, the next section is the automatic feature. If this setting is on, it will run the test as many days as you write here. And you can set the minimum page visits to complete the test. 
Once the test is completed, the plugin will show the winning version to 100% of the traffic. Finally, there's an option to restore the test. You can use this when you want to run the same test twice to get more reliable data. That's all. Scroll back up and click on Start Test. We need to start it in order to save it. Now it's time to create the version A and version B. In this tutorial, I'm using Elementor, but the plugin works with any page builder on WordPress. And even if you don't use any, you can still use the CSS class option on the default editor. Okay, I'm opening my landing page on Elementor Editor. Here, I want to do an AB for the headline, so I'll select it, and then from the Advanced tab, select AB Split Test. Select the experiment, and give this version a name like Control. Then I can duplicate the element by right-clicking on the corner and select Duplicate. And again, from the Advanced tab, I will name this version the Treatment, and obviously change the title to something else. Once done, hit Update, and we are set. Now if I visit the page, I can preview the versions from the drop-down menu and let it run. If you go back to the dashboard, you can see that the test is running. And once you get some traffic, it will look like this. Once you see a clear winner, you can move on to test something else, like the subscribe button color or the image. If you keep optimizing the page, you can double your conversion rate over time. Of course, some of the tests might not have significant difference, or the tested version might have a lower conversion rate. What's important is to keep testing and trying out different things to see what moves the needle. To learn more about A-B testing, you can watch this video next.